Hey everybody, it's Tyson Spix 101 here. Um, giving you a little update. Uh, sorry I was away for a long time, but um, I was busy with some personal things. And I want to give a little update on um, my review LP, review LP thing, where it's not going to be a whole LP and then an, and then a review. It's going to be a LP video, then another um, thing, uh, then a review, then a, then a video, then a review, then a video, and so on and so forth. So that's my little update. So now I want to get to these. These are Pokeballs, but they're not ordinary Pokeballs. They are soft and squishy. Now, I did have a third, but I lost it. The third. I had was a heel ball. This is a premier ball, as you can see. This is an ultra ball, or as it's known in Japan, a hyper ball. Why? <gasps> There's an H. Obadam. Look at that. An H for hyper. Now these balls are good for props and throwing at it. Throwing uh, stuff hat because they're soft and they barely hurt but um, the button is also functional or is it because the whole thing goes in tell me in the comments is this a functional button or is it just weird like that because it's squishy uh, these are good for you know props cosplay like I said uh, and the squishability of this one is not very good. This one, this one's great for squishing. However, my heel ball that I had uh, was, you know, fairly tough and and not very good to squish. But anyway, this is not just a review on these. It's also a review on this. Was there. This Pokemon Pop and Battle Pokeball. Now this clip. I've been told it's come with singulars. Wrong. It's come with doubles. Yeah, some guy said like, oh yeah, it comes with this in the single pack. No. Comes with doubles pack. Anyway, how you work it is you press this button and the Pokemon pops out. I believe this is Oshawa. Yeah, so you see the thing with Oshawa is if you do it now normally you would do it like this oops hold on the normal way you would do it is you would set it up and you would push it like this however you get stuck there we go get stuck so you have to reset it close it and hold it like this so it pops out and to reset it is basically take the character Sorry, I'm a little awkward right here on my bed. Take the character, push it in to the Pokeball, make sure it's nice and snug, shut the ball, and push the button. Easy as pie. Now they come with traps that basically open up. You push a button, this button here, and put it down on the solid ground, but be very careful because it's sensitive. Because there's a button right here that you push and it stops for it and basically what you do is you choose your Pokemon oh, hold on, you choose your Pokemon go Ashwa, Ashwa, <coughs> Ashwa, Ashwa anyway, and you squeeze it so it shoots out like that however I'm on the bed so it won't be very good so what you do is you have to try and land it in the trap so it'll snap, sh snap shut you basically get either one damage, two damage, three damage, or four damage, block, or miss. Oh, I missed! Anyway, <laughs> basically you have a scale of 10 HP, first one to get their Pokemon to zero HP wins, obviously. Now, I did, and that's that. I do have more characters, I have Oshawott, I have Dipping! Who's a fire type? I have Sandile. I have Wubat. 
and I also have um, Axia. Yeah. So, all in all, this is good to play with friends. This is very good to play with friends. I've played it with my cousin. He loves it. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, and especially like real Pokemon. So, because you know, <laughs> he says you gotta set the trap, right? So I'll just leave it and then start at like three feet. So you start short, then go medium, then go long. And you know, it's so fun. These are good for props, like I said. And that is all for me. So look out for. Mm. And I want you to look out for part two of Happy Feet. Coming hopefully this week because it is the week of March break. It's Friday night. So now, this has been Tyson Peaks. Unos, zero, unos. Sorry. This has been Tyson Picks 101. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video, my friends. See you in the next.